We're going through five problems to review for PC3 and for PC2. In using substitution, we are trying to solve one of our equations for a single variable. In this example, y is already all by itself. The equation is already solved for y. So what we can do then is we can take what y is equal to and plug it into the other equation. So we write this as 6x plus 9 multiplied by 2 is equal to 24. And when we multiply 9 times 2, we get 18. And we're at a two-step equation. From here, we subtract 18 from both sides. 6x is now equal to 6. When we divide both sides by 6, we get x equals 1. Do we know what y is? Sure, from our original equation, we know that y is equal to 2. So we're done. Moving down. We're going to solve this system by substitution. The first step is to solve one of the equations so that we have a variable all by itself, such as this top one, where it says x equals something. x is all by itself. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire quantity, 3 minus 2y, and plug it in for x in the other equation, which looks like this. 2 multiplied by 3 minus 2y plus 4y is equal to 6. Everything in that equation remained the same except for x is replaced or substituted for. From here, we're going to distribute this positive 2, which gives us 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times a negative 2 is a negative 4y plus 4y is equal to 6. Combining like terms, we have a positive 4y and a negative 4y. They go away, so we get 6 equals 6. This is one of those special cases this is a true statement, 6 is equal to 6, so there are therefore infinite solutions. And finally, we have another problem that can be solved by substitution. The top equation is not already solved for y, but y has a positive 1 for the coefficient. So if we add 7x to both sides, this part here cancels out, and we're left with y is equal to negative 9 plus 7x. So it is solved for y. And we can take what y is equal to and plug it into the other equation. Negative 2x plus 3 times the quantity, negative 9 plus 7x, is equal to negative 8. From here, we're going to distribute this positive 3, which means we multiply it by each term inside of the parentheses. So negative 2x minus 27 plus 21x is equal to negative 8. When we combine like terms, the negative 2x and the positive 21x are the same term. So this becomes 19x minus 27 is equal to negative 8. And now we're at a two-step equation. So we can add 27 to both sides. This gives us 19x is equal to 19, and we know that x is equal to 1. How do we figure out what y is equal to? Let's choose one of our original equations and go ahead and plug in 1 for x. If we chose this one, y is now equal to negative 9 plus 7 times 1, or y is equal to negative 9 plus 7. So y is equal to negative 2. Once we have both x and y, we have our final answer. Let's review a couple from last week's elimination. We look at the coefficients. We see 4 and 3. They're not going to cancel out. And 14 and 7 are also not going to cancel out. But 7 times 2 is 14. And we're going to use that trick to take this entire second equation and double the entire thing. So negative 3x becomes negative 6x. Negative 7y becomes negative 14y. And negative 7 becomes a negative 14. And we'll cross off that equation because now we are combining or adding straight down for this first one and this third one. So 4x plus a negative 6x gives us negative 2x. 14y plus a negative 14y cancels out. And 14 plus a negative 14 also cancels out to give us 0. So that if we divide both sides by a negative 2, we get x equals 0. We're halfway to our answer. I can pick any of my original equations. Let's say I chose this top one. If I plug in 0 here for x, I have 4 times 0 plus 14y is equal to 14. 
which means 14y is equal to 14. And when I divide both sides by 14, I get y is equal to 1. Last problem for elimination. We notice that the coefficients do not cancel out if I add straight down. But if I double the top equation, 4 will become 8 and 5 will become 10. However, if I just multiply by 2, we'll have a negative 8 and a negative 8, which won't cancel out when we add. So instead, we can take this top equation and multiply the entire thing by a negative 2. If we do so, negative 4 times a negative 2 gives us a positive 8x. Negative 5 times a negative 2 gives us a positive 10y. And 7 times a negative 2 gives us a negative 14. So I'm going to cross off that top equation because I have now modified it. And when I add straight down, I get 0x plus 0y is equal to negative 8. Everything in the left here becomes 0. And if 0 is equal to negative 8, is that a true statement? No, that is false. And when we encounter a false statement, there are no possible solutions for this system of equations.